Welcome back, I'm Jana with Pearl Together, and in this week's technique video, we're going to finish up our Pioneer gloves, or Pioneer mitts, as I call them. They look pretty funny when they're all smushed together, but they stretch out really nicely. And I'm gonna show you how to pick up the stitches and knit the thumb without leaving a gap right there. We wanna make sure there's no holes right there. And then I'm also gonna show you how I chose to use a super stretchy bind off to finish up the cuff here and also the thumb cast off. Join me for that in just a moment, but first I wanna give a big shout out to a few new patrons that we've had in the last week or so. Thank you so much for joining the patron family, Leslie, May, Lainey, and Laura. Thank you so much for choosing to support my efforts as a creator and bringing these videos to you. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash pearl together to see what I'm offering for a small monthly pledge. So, okay, let's get started with our techniques for finishing up our mitts. Okay, I've knitted the hand portion of my fingerless mitts as tall as I want them to be. And now I'm just going to do my super simple stretchy bind off in pattern around the top. So I'll show you that really quickly and then I'll also put a link to a video down below where I show you more slowly and it's a video solely dedicated to that. Okay, first and second stitch are knitted normally. And then I go in with my left needle underneath those stitches so then I can knit these together through the back loop. So knit those two stitches together through the back loop. Knit, and I draw up a little bit extra here. You'll notice I kind of do that not normally. I just want to keep this relaxed, um, not too sloppy, but you know, we want to keep it not tight. So we're just going to do knit the next one because it's a knit stitch, knit those together through the back loop. Bring your yarn forward because then I'm going to purl. That stitch is a purl. And I'm going to leave my yarn to the front and purl those two together. The next stitch is a purl. So I'm going to do the same thing there. Purl these two together. Whoops. There we go. And so on. Now I'm back to my knits. So I'm going to knit that stitch, knit these two together. And I'm going to go all the way around this way, keeping in pattern. And I'll show you a little trick when I get done. When I'm all the way around, I'll show you a little a handy little tip for mitigating the jog because we knit in a, a spiral, right? So when you finish, you're going to have a little unevenness. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, I finished doing my stretchy bind off all the way around, or you can do your long, you know, regular standard bind off or whatever, but I have one loop or one stitch left on the needle. So I'm going to draw up a pretty large loop and go ahead and take my needle out. And then I have my, my tapestry or darning needle here. And what I'm gonna do is go into the very next stitch at the top, right there. And instead of cutting the yarn and pulling, pulling the tail through, I'm gonna take this whole loop and pull that through. So I'm gonna thread the loop onto the eye of the needle, okay? and pull the whole loop through. And the reason I'm gonna do that is then, when I cut the yarn a little further down here, with my really dull scissors, okay, then I take the tail into the loop and cinch it tight. Now what that's gonna do is draw that last loop down a lot more level with the top of my mitt. Okay, so, this is the left one. I'll go ahead and weave in my tail. But what I want to show you next is how we're going to pick up the stitches around here and in the gap, in the gap right there, and make sure that we don't have a hole at the junction of the thumb. So we don't want to have a thumb, we don't have a hole right there. Okay, so since I have this on waist yarn and not a stitch holder, I like to do it from right to left in the same way that I knit. And I'm just gonna go in and pick up the stitches off my waist yarn. It's helpful to use a very small needle to do this. I just do it a couple, I just do a couple at a time and then I pull my waist yarn through. I like having uh, the tail a little closer. I pull up a little bit on the, the waist yarn to make that stitch uh, a little higher and easier to see. There's, so I'm gonna go along and pick up all of these stitches all the way around. And then I'll show you how we're gonna deal with the gap right there. 
And I'll just note here that since I'm using Magic Loop, I'm picking up approximately half on each side. If you're doing DPNs, you could certainly, you know, go ahead and divide your stitches appropriately as you're picking them up. All right, let's take a closer look here. You can see where I have, I've picked the, uh, for mine is the largest size, so I've picked up 10 stitches on each side, so that's 20. I need 25, so I need five stitches along the inside right here. Where, and that'll close that gap. So I'm going to draw my magic loop in a way that I can get a hold of this needle and find a good way to pick up some stitches along this inside right here. So these two pearl bumps here belong to this column. So I'm going to move away from that and kind of go into the next leg here of Late. I was off camera there, I'm sorry. So I'm going to move away from that and go toward the next leg of this knit stitch right there, and I'm going to knit right into that, which means I'm also going to be starting a new strand of yarn right here. So I'm going to just hold that down with my finger in the back, and I'm going to knit right into that. Okay, so there's one. Then I'm going to take a look here more carefully and I'm going to pick out some stitches where these pearl bumps are right here. I'll pick up a couple of there of the knit leg. So there's two stitches and I might do one where the pearl column is and then a couple more. This is super awkward, but I'm pretty sure you can do it. I think I'll pick up this pair right here. That makes four and whatever looks good here. We just want to close any, make sure we close any gaps. So this right here what might be a good thing to pick up. I might actually pick it up with a strand below. Or this right there, pick those up together. And maybe through the back loop, give that a little twist to mitigate any holes. Okay, so I have an extra five there. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and draw that through. So that means I have 10 on one side of my magic loop and 15 on the other. Probably leave that the way it is rather than um, having more close to 12 and 13. Just because my pattern is three knits and two pearls. And I like to begin my round with a knit. So that's fine. All right, I'm going to continue knitting in pattern now. And I'm going to incorporate those new stitches in as an, because I picked up five, so that will be another set of my ribbing. Does that make sense? Leave me a, a question down below in the comments if that doesn't make sense. But what I want to do here is make sure I have another set of five, which is the equivalent of three knits and two purls. So that's what I just picked up for the inside of the thumb, or, you know, right down here. So I'm going to knit about eight rounds or, oh, maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. My kid has long fingers, so we'll see how it looks in a minute. So this is the tag end where this is the end that I started with. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to stuff that down in there because we will make sure to secure that when we're finished with the mitt. We'll go back, turn everything inside out and weave that in and make sure to secure that. But for right now, I don't want it in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck it down in down below. And I'm going to move the hand of the mitt below my needles so my next two to three sets of five are visible and easy to get to. This is going to feel really fiddly at first. And this first stitch is very loose because that's where we tied on or that's where we began. But just bear with it. We'll pull that in and make it, make it tighter. All right, the mitt is looking pretty good. I need to weave in this end, and then I'll show you how I'm going to deal with the loose end that we have here. Where we started, you can see that stitch right there is pretty loose. So I'm just gonna turn everything inside out. All right, I can see better what's going on here. I'm going to give that a little tug and tighten up that stitch there. Then I'm just going to, because I didn't leave a very long tail, I should have left a little bit longer tail to work with. But that's all right. I'm just going to use my darning needle and I'll just run it up the inside of this 
column of knit stitches here. So I just kind of go, let me zoom in for you a little bit. I just go around like that and rotate that around and just kind of run that up a few stitches and I'll probably do a few more. Then you can thread this into your needle awkwardly on camera. There we go. And just go ahead and pull that right up in there and it should be fine. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a, a better tug and then I'm going to do the same thing here I'm just going to take this tag end and run it down this column and maybe a little further down here. And that's it. And you're ready to go in knit number two. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. We've had a little break between videos here and I apologize for that. But what I would like for you to do, if you want to enter a giveaway, post your finished mitts in the Ravelry thread, in the Pearl Together Ravelry thread, and then we'll do a random number generator. And we'll, I'll post this afternoon, I'll post a giveaway prize. And if you're interested in winning that, you can let me know by posting your finished object, including the yarn that you used. I'd love to see your pictures. So, all right, I look forward to seeing all of those. And you have until Halloween to finish. Because I was delayed with getting these instructional videos up, let's add a couple extra weeks. And we'll just say that by the end of the month, and then I'll do a drawing for the prize package on the 1st. Okay, I'd love to see your finished finished objects. If you post on social media, please tag me at Pearl underscore together on Instagram and also use hashtag Pearl together and hashtag Pioneer Mitts K-A-L. All right, I look forward to seeing them. Thanks so much for watching.